Hello everybody, welcome to Photographics Academy. All right, so today we are looking at a very important concept of skin retouching. Very quick one, uh, highest in the next 10 minutes we are done. You're going to need to follow me quite fast because I'm going to be doing a lot in this video. But I promise you at the end of this tutorial, you are going to learn a lot. So the first thing I'm going to be doing on this particular picture right here is to take care of the blemishes. So to do that, I'm going to create a black and white layer, create a black and white adjustment layer. I'm sure you might be familiar with this concept. If you are not familiar with it, the reason I'm doing black and white is so that my uh, blemishes is going to come out and be very pronounced and be very pronounced. Then I'm going to take care of it, then delete the black and white. Look at the way it's very clear right now. You are seeing all the blemishes that is in the skin and all of that. But if I remove the black and white, you are going to notice that your eyes may not really be seeing everything the way you are supposed to see them. So to fix that, I'm going to, on my black and white layer, pick up my uh, my spot healing brush tool right there. Pick up my spot healing brush tool and start taking care of the blemishes. Start taking care of the blemishes just like that. Click over it and it's gone. Click over it and it's gone. So take your time and get your own done. I'm going to fast forward the video. So avoid wasting much of your time. So see you. All right, so our blemishes are taken care of. Welcome back. All right, so look at mine. This is before, this is after, this is before, this is after. So I'm going to deactivate the black and white layer right now. So this is before, this is after. You can actually delete the black and white now. We do not have need for it. Okay, so the next thing we're going to be taking care of is we're going to be running a quick frequency separation on the image very quickly very very quickly all right so let's take care of it in a jiffy i'm going to be flattening this to make sure we have everything not confusing so create double create two layers ctrl j two times to create a new layer i'm going to name this l and name this h so this represents low frequency this represents high frequency go to your low frequency select your blur select gaussian blur so you are going to take it down to zero zoom in on your image to make sure so the idea here is to make sure you blow it out until you are no longer seeing any skin texture in the image so let's try from somewhere around seven okay i still see some textures maybe we'll try nine okay so i think the textures are still showing up and but i think nine is a good place to stop let's zoom in and look at it very well okay so i think nine is a good place to stop press okay open your high layer and go to image selecting the high layer apply image make sure you are selecting low frequency make sure you are selecting subtract your scale should be at 2 your offset should be at 128 press ok change the blend mode to linear light very important change it to linear light create a group of the two layers ctrl g create the group so the best way to know that you've got your setting is try closing the group if the picture is as, is showing no effect or no change know that your settings are correct then open it, go to your low frequency. I need you to duplicate the low frequency. Press Ctrl J. It's going to duplicate into two. Go to your filter. First of all, convert it to a smart object or smart filters. You can do this by right clicking on the layer and click on convert to smart object. Or you can go to your filter and go to convert for smart filters. All of them are just the same thing. So wait for it. It's converted right now. So the next thing we are doing is to apply Gaussian Blur on the layer so go to filter blur gaussian blur so blow it out until you are sure that all your imperfections are taken care of already i think 45 is too much let's try something around 38 and see what we'll have i think that it is too small it's too much as well so we'll try 30 30 is too small so we are stopping somewhere around 35 okay i think this is okay press okay so invert your smart uh filter mask okay this is one of the reasons why we had to choose smart object the reason is because 
whatever you do on your image on a layer that is a smart layer is going to create a mask of everything you are doing so you can invert it and now use your brush to paint them in and that is what we are doing so create on the click on the smart filter mask press ctrl i to invert the whole stuff and take your brush make sure that your foreground color is white and your background is black you can put your flow at 100 and start painting over your skin just like that beautiful just paint over your skin do not paint on the edges so you don't the picture doesn't lose form and shape all right so let's take care of that in a minute so i'm going to fast forward the video to make sure we i do not take so much of your time see you All right, guys, so when you are done with your own uh, brush and you feel that it maybe it's too much or that it's a bit less, you can come and double click on the Gaussian block and you can reduce the effect or increase the effect. So I want to increase mine. I didn't think that 30 was a good place to stay. So I'm placing it as 45. Press OK and we are good to go. So the next thing we're going to be doing is to take care of the teeth. I feel the teeth is not as white as it, sh as it should be. So I'm going to flatten this. This is before, this is after. I'm going to flatten this quickly. Go to my adjustment layer, select view and saturation. You do not need to do that. You can just select your view and saturation straight up. Zoom in on the teeth. Take your uh, hand tool, pick the any part of the teeth. It should be as red or yellow. So just drop it down a little. Increase the lightness to get it whitish. Then go to this slider right here. Pick yellow, increase it. Reduce the saturation as well. So our aim is to get a clean white teeth. So we just keep taking it up until we have it all uh, white. Just focus your attention on the teeth and no other place, just on the teeth and no other place. I think the reds need a little desaturation there and a little whitening, just a little like that. Okay, so press Control I, Control I, pick your brush, zoom in very close to the teeth and paint over the teeth. And that is how you take care of your reddish teeth just like that beautiful so this is how you convert your teeth into white color so this is how you change your teeth into perfect white and we are good to go just a little like that nice one all right so just gradually paint over it make sure you're not touching any other part of the image to avoid to avoid desaturating your skin to avoid desaturating your skin just like that nice all right so you zoom out and look at it i think it's too much we're going to reduce the opacity you can actually convert the blend mode to color luminosity i don't think any of that worked so just drop down the opacity a little to make it look realistic zoom out to make sure your image is still looking realistic this is before this is after and we are good to go so the last thing we are going to be doing is that we are going to be applying a quick dodge and burn on the image I'm going to be applying a pink dust and burn on the image just quickly to, the, to bring it to the level that I want it to be. Uh, all right, so let's go. Select your curves, select your curves, drag it up a little, control I to invert it. So this is going to be our dodge. This is going to be our dodge. Then select another curve like that drag it down this is going to serve as our bone control i so we'll name this bone that is b okay let me just type it all bone all right so create a group of these two layers control g open it up take your brush tool 
first of all, let's do the the dot. Let's do the dot. So dot simply means making the bright places brighter. So I'm going to be selecting, putting my flow at one to make sure it's not overpainting and just make these edges shine. Just make them shine. Maybe I'll take it up a little when you pick our all right. So just make them shine. Do not need to do much. The skin is already very, very smooth and sweet. So don't do a lot of uh, dodging and burning on the image so it doesn't start looking unrealistic just like that. And actually put your dodge here to even it out just like that. Here and there, we are good to go. So go to the forehead. You might need to put your dodge there. Look at the tip of the lips like that. Beautiful. Look at the lips like that. Take care of this part. Okay, so let me just make here shine a little like that beautiful all right so let's do a little burning and we are good to go so take your burning come back to the nose you might need to touch here a little just like that nice one all right so there is one more thing i'm noticing in the picture that we need to fix there is one more thing i'm noticing in the picture that we need to fix I will need to do that real quick. So I'm, I'm noticing that the whole picture is not having the same skin tone. I'm noticing they are not having the same skin tone. So we are going to be matching the skin tone to make the whole skin rhyme and match with each other. All right, so you can reduce the opacity of the group to make it look realistic so it doesn't get too much. I think I like it this way. Flatten your image, flatten your image, so let's go straight and uh, make our skin tone have the same skin tone. Let's just head straight and flatten the whole skin tone to make sure that the reds I'm seeing on the skin are totally gone. So how do we do that? Select your gradient map, not gradient, gradient map. Oh, excuse me. All right. So select your gradient map, open it up. So in this particular one, you need to select the darkest part of the image. Wait, let me minimize this so we can see what we are doing clearly. Make sure you're on the mask, rather on the logo, not on the mask. Select this place, select the darkest part of the image. It should be here. Press OK, then here, select the brightest part. It should be at the forehead. Press OK. Create one more in the middle by clicking anywhere, any spot in the middle, and it's going to create one more. This one, you are selecting the mid tone. So I think this is OK as the mid tone. Press OK and press OK. So change the whole blend mode to color change the blend mode to color i want to limit it just to the skin i do not want it selecting the background so you can do that by doing a lot of stuff but now we are going to be using color range go to select color range all right so if you notice it's just picking black it's not showing us anything but the moment i start clicking around the skin it starts separating it so what do we do right now cancel it click on the mask so that you tell Photoshop, okay, I'm trying to mask the skin out. So it will separate it from the background. Go to select color range. So you are going to notice that the background is now separated. Click anywhere on the skin. Click on the plus icon and just add the rest of the skin tone to it. Just add the rest of the skin to it. All right, so you can, you can reduce the fuzziness to make to remove it from the clothes. Or you can just paint that out later. You can just paint that out later. All right, so we are going to go increase the fuzziness a little more. Smoothen out the transition like that. Press OK. So we are good to go. But if you notice it's spinning on the clothes and on the lips and some parts of the image, we do not want it. So click on your brush and take it away by using your black mask. Make sure your foreground color is black. Increase your flow back to 100 and start taking it away from the skip from the clothes rather. Just like this. Take your time and make sure your mask is perfect. Take your time and make sure your mask is perfect. Just like that. Beautiful. So when you are done, you can actually hold alternate, click on the mask to view your mask. All right. So if you view it like this, you are going to notice that the cloth is still being selected. So we'll take it away from the cloth as well. You can press X to paint it back on the skin that we are not having it all at. All right. So just like that, take care of it and make sure you have a perfect mask. So I don't want it on the lips. So I'm cleaning the lips. Do not want it on the lips. So I'm just going to remove it from the lips like this. 
So you can press your alternate to go back to your mask, to your image rather, for a better preview. So like that, beautiful. You can check the eyes. Eyes already turning. I don't know what color to call that. Okay, so going to going to just take it out a little, or you can reduce the opacity, paint it over it just to make it blending. I think that was looking unrealistic. All right, this is better. We need it a little from here. I'll just paint it in. All right, so we are good to go. Of course, this is too much. This is before. This is after. Reduce the opacity generally like that. I want to apply a little curve to it. So go to your curve, increase it a little. You can clip it to the you can clip it to the gradient map layer so that you make the skin shine a little. Go to your image, apply image. So it's going to pick this the, uh, the setting that works for it. Press OK. Press OK. Change the blend mode to luminous to color so it doesn't affect the luminosity. All right. So this is before. This is after. And we are good to go. Thank you for watching this amazing video. So this was the picture when we started. Let me go back. Where's my history panel? Let's go back on history so we can see everything the way it was when we started. All right. So this was the image when we started. Hold on. Let's locate it somewhere down here. All right. So this is the picture after all the retouching we did. Amazing. The skin tones are matching. Everything is working out perfectly. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to click on our subscribe button and uh, remember to ring the bell every single time we drop a new video so that you get notified. Thank you for watching. See you on our next video.